make me a little chocolate horsey. And this other resin that I have mixed up here is pearlescent emerald. I haven't worked with some pretty green in a while, so I'm going to work on that. See what that does. The other one will be clear with some of these sparkles in there. And then this one is for the twigs. Alright. I've got some saved aside for that. Let's kind of mix up this for a little swirly chocolate horsey. stick over here for digging stuff out. Just want to see the difference. Bake the cake. And you just pat it down like that. You can feel the warmth of the resin right through your gloves. Okay, that's just Ari drinking some water in the background, you guys. <laughs> Can't help it, she's thirsty. All right, let's add our have to wait at least four hours before you add the second coat. So you have to sink these in there first because they will move around on you. And be careful when you pop the bubbles. Once again, we're working with wood. Even though it's been covered, it has a little finish on it, that doesn't mean that it can't catch fire. So sink those down in there, and we wait, because they're wanting to float and move around. All right, everybody, here's the results. On this one, I decided not to do a second coat of resin. I liked it bumpy. I liked it it's natural, almost like freedom in nature. <laughs> Turned out really pretty, really clear, but I just, I liked it like this. And when I set my coffee mugs on it and stuff, it's still level, it stays nice. So. I kind of like it, rough and rugged. All right, now, this one, this turned out really nice. This was the gold sparkle that I did at the very end of the video. Real pretty, 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 pretty. I have plans for this, I'll show that in another video. So the top part is a little rough. Because I have, I use uh, really thin layers. But no bubbles or anything, it's really nice. And this is my horsey, and I'm going to use them for a paperweight. Turned out really pretty, you guys. 
Um, you can see the gold in there. Really nice. And you can even do like something like this. This is something that you can hang. I get this at uh, I got this at Walmart. It's like five bucks. And you can paint a welcome sign on there, whatever, and do some horse stuff on there or whatever you want. It'd be really cool. All right, now on to the last one. This is my made a little petri dish. So what I did was I have this little Italian dish. I have uh, three of them with a little olive oil uh, holder. This was in the mold of uh, one of my other rubber coasters that I have, but I'm using them right now. I'm trying to finishing up that project. I sanded that and I got some work to do there and that'll be in a really soon video. So what I did was after I let that sit in the mold about mm, eight hours later, it wasn't quite cured of course or anything, but it was soft enough to mold. So I put it in this dish and I molded around it like that. And then I took it out right away and stored it upside down like that to get hard and dry and let the air get to it. So then I have my own little cute Petri dish. Of course I use my, and then my wax paper, shine it up, clean it off, whatever. And I have my own little Petri dish for some of my little stir sticks. That sits aside over here because sometimes I just need a little stir stick to stir up and some of my little smaller cups. So it's really nice to have those. And these are my yogurt sticks. I can put those in there too. <laughs> okay, now I was gonna show you my box of tools. This is my box of tools. And this is the little uh, fork that I was telling you about. I like this because all of the, um, you can separate anything, paint, resin, do whatever you want with it, smash things down with it, and you know, mix things around. And I like all these little tools. I'll leave a link below in case you guys wanna get some of these. But they're really cool. We got the brushes, the little drills. These are nice, nice tools. Very inexpensive as well. You can do so much with it. I like this too, it's like a little shoehorn. I use that one a lot too. This is like a, it's a fine point a fine point tool, another one there. Got your little shovels and diggers and things. Here's another shoehorn, only thinner and longer. Okay, look at that, really cool. Look like an arrowhead. Last but not least, really cool tools, you guys. I love these tools. On to your meditation thought for today. If our days are a blur, spent rushing around trying to create more space in our lives, our mind won't have the space to unwind come bedtime. So relax everybody, grab your glue gun and your glitters, don't forget your ruby slippers. In other words, do it your way, any way you want. Thank you for watching. Arrivederci everybody. See you again soon back in the studio. Mm -hmm.